Hi everyone! Today I'm sharing our curriculum choices for the upcoming school year. This is a collaboration hosted by Kayla at Ode to Bird. I'll leave a link to the playlist so you can check out all the other moms taking part in this collaboration. Jumping straight into it, for math we are continuing with Right Start Mathematics. We are really enjoying this curriculum. My son will be 6 this year, so in terms of grade levels he is technically in grade 1 or year 1 but he's quite advanced for his age in all subjects. So for different subjects, he's at different grade levels. What I'm doing is working with him at his own pace. I absolutely want to avoid rushing him, but at the same time, I want him to be invigorated and challenged by his lessons. Right now, we're already past the halfway point of level C. So we'll be finishing this in the next few months and once we're done with this level, we'll move on to level D which is this one right here. So you have the teacher's guide, student worksheets, and everything else necessary for this level. For science, we are continuing with Real Science Odyssey Chemistry Level 1, and we also recently started Chemistry for the Grammar Stage by Elemental Science. Both RSO Chemistry and this one cover the same topics. So the way I use them is to do them in tandem, covering the same topics at the same time. So for example, if you're learning about the periodic table, I'll just combine the lessons on that from both programs. Obviously, doing both does take more time, but then again, I'm not fussed about how much time we might be spending on a particular topic. Since my son is ahead in his learning for his age, I figure spending time going deep into a subject is better than rushing through it, trying to stick to a particular schedule and tick some boxes just to say it's done. And this is something my kids love because they get to do more hands-on activities and experiments and incorporate more books. For history, we'll be continuing with History Quest early times. Since we are not following the suggested 5-day schedule for each unit, we are taking a rather long time to get through this curriculum and that's completely okay with us. Because I really feel like we are delving deeper into each topic by adding in extra books, art and craft activities and including other enrichment projects. Anyway, once we do complete History Quest early times, I'm planning on continuing with this series. So we'll be doing History Quest middle times. I have already gone through the different topics in here and started collecting the required books and supplies, so when the time comes, I have everything I need to start this level. Now moving on to language arts, we'll be continuing with lightning literature grade 2. This has been working really well for us so far. For spelling, we have been doing all about spelling level 2 and we are about to finish this. So we're going to be moving on to level 3, which is this one right here. This spelling program has been working really well for us, and my son is loving it. Alongside lightning literature and all about spelling, we have also been doing easy grammar, grade 1. This is a great program as well. We're currently more than halfway through this, and once we get through grade 1, we'll be continuing on to grade 2. I bought the printable PDF version so I don't have to pay for shipping or wait for delivery and I did the binding myself so it's all ready to go. For geography, we are using around the world with picture books. I bought this towards the end of last year and my kids wanted to start off with Antarctica and we had a really great time with that unit. We did take our time with it, I think we were doing it for about a couple of months. And then we had lots of unexpected interruptions and so we had to take a break from it. So this time around, the plan is to start from the beginning. So we're going to be starting with China and moving through each country. I have gone ahead and purchased a lot of things for our unit study on China. I think I'll share all of that in a separate video, but we're super excited about it. My kids have seen everything I've gotten for this unit and they're super keen to jump into it. So much so that we actually started reading this, which is absolutely fantastic. To make sure we're complying with the Australian curriculum requirements, I do have to add a couple of things that are specific to where we live. So for that, we need to do a bit of Australian history and geography. And I'm using these to address those topics. 
He has already completed foundation level year one and year two, so we're going to be working through grade three workbooks this year. Now, my son is not a fan of these workbooks, so basically what I'm doing is taking these topics and making them into unit studies. In addition to these, we're also required to do health science, so we're using these books for that. So those are the core subjects and curricula we'll be doing this year. I think I'll do a separate video to share all the enrichment activities and subjects that we are doing. So that's about it. I hope this video has been helpful and please don't forget to check out all the other awesome videos in this playlist. Thanks a bunch for watching.